Hi, I'm Jaslyn, and I'm 12 years old. And I'm Karis, and I'm 9 years old. And today we will be showing you our top 10 favorite Asborn books. So I'm going to start with mine, and I like the coloring book gar Garden with Rub Down Transfers. I think Rub Down Transfers are, like, the best because they're really cool. They're, like, magic because I had one right there, but it's a I actually used, like, the back of a pen and it rubbed down onto the page and that, and it came out in color where I rubbed it down. So I think those are really cool. Yeah, I agree. Uh, one of my favorite books is The Ultimate Maze Book. I got this maze book kind of recently, but I've sure had fun. When I was skimming through the pages to find an example page, I found a page that I thought was really cool. It's called Hansel and Gretel. And what you have to do is they have to, they, they got lost, so they put down their 30 white pebbles, and they have to go, and the path that they have to follow has to have 30 white pebbles so that you know it's the right path. So it's kind of like a maze and like a math kind of thing. But anyways, I can't wait till I get to that page. And this is my second one. This is the Holiday Pocket Puzzle. Um, so I really like this one because it's like a smaller thing, so it's easier to fit in your bag. And there's like mazes and like find um, things that are out of the picture or things like that. And it's just like really fun to do um, in the car or places that you're really bored. It actually makes me not bored. Like, I can't stop doing this book. <laughs> so my second book is called Usborne True Stories Escape. We haven't got through the whole book, but so far, I really like the stories. They're really interesting. Sometimes we read them before bed, and then it just makes me want to keep reading. So this is my third book. It's called um, The Enchanted Castle. I loved this book when I read it. I actually was reading it before I went to bed, and I ended up reading the whole thing. <laughs> And so I really love this book, and the pictures are very beautiful. What reading level is it? Um, series two. So um, I really love this book. So my next book is Origami Fortune Tellers. Um, what you do with this book is there's a whole bunch of different pages that you can rip out, and you make and you make one of these. Um, they even have example pages on here. And they also have, if you fold this part out, it has the instructions on how to make it, which I thought was really handy for when I was just learning. So I'm gonna do it on my sister. Okay, pick one. I pick time. T-I-M. Six. six. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, three. Read a story about a sports team. Okay. <laughs> um, so, this is my next book. It's pretty similar to hers. Um, it also has one like this. It's just it folds out a bit longer. <laughs> um, inside it has all sorts of different, like, just blank papers. There's not certain ones that you have to use. In the back, you can turn your creations into things like that. And this is my little swan. It's, like, the only thing I know how to make, but I'm still trying. So... Yeah, this is my little swan. Uh, the next book that I have is the Little Children's Nature Activity book. I really like this book because it's not, it's really fun to do, and me and my brother sometimes just do it together, and it's just really fun, and it's, it's about nature, so it's, you can just go outside and do it, and enjoy the nature. <laughs> And I'm going to show you, the pages are really bright and they have lots of color. There's more than one, there's also stickers. There's more than one thing on each, there's more than one activity on each page, which is really nice. So, I really love origami. 
Um, this is origami animals, and I have a lot of other origamis, but this one is actually different from the last one. It actually has a book that comes out instead of something that folds out, and then on here it has two different sizes. This one's smaller than the other, and then inside you can either make, like, smaller things or bigger things, and you can make... An owl, a dragon, a fish, an elephant, a fox, a rabbit, a whale, and a crane. And I've made a whale. I made it a while ago, but I also have a fox and stuff. So I really love this book, and I love origami. <laughs> so this book is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, I read it one day before bed, and it was actually pretty scary. So if you're into scary books, then you would really like this book. Um, this is illustrated um, traditional stories. I really love these kind of books because they're thicker, so if you really like the book, then you don't stop because it's only one story. It's like a bunch of stories in one, so um, these are all the stories. Um, I am on... <laughs> the Mouse's Wedding, and I'm really interested in this book, and I've read pretty much all of my other ones, which are up there. Pretty much read them all. <laughs> so, I have a book similar to Karis' book. It's a hundred illustrated stories. Um, I really like, one feature that I really like is the cover. It's kind of like squishy, which it's really nice to hold. The I've gotten to the page, it's The Lion and the Mouse, which is on page 176. Um, it just, we usually read one story a night, and it's just really, it keeps me wanting to read. Because it's more, it's easier to get through little stories and want to keep reading than one big thick one, because you kind of get bored sometimes. But these ones keep you interested. Um, this is, like, my favorite book. It's called the Never Get Bored book, and, um, inside it has all different, um, things. I actually have, um, the thing as a stopper because I've made this stuff, um, it's called Goo, and it's really cool. It's kind of like cotton candy. It's just, it melts in your hands. <laughs> it's, it's really cool. That sounds pretty cool. And it's kind of messy, but it's easy to clean up because, Yeah. <laughs> I also really enjoy doing that book, too. Okay, so my next book is Jane Eyre. I really like the story Jane Eyre. The Usborne has a lot of different, like, versions of it. I think they're all pretty much the same, but for different reading levels. This is for series four, Young Reading, and uh, it was a really interesting book, so I suggest you guys try and read it, if you're that level. <laughs> um, this is my next book. Me and my sister love doing these things. It's 365 Things to Make and Do, and so inside are a bunch of crafts, and I'm a crafty kid, so th this book really fits me. <laughs> Um, we have a couple pages that we marked off because we thought these ones were really cool. This one I really love. You can take, like, plastic forks or you can take, like, popsicle sticks and you can make little people and you can use, like, yarn and stuff as their hair. It's really cool. Me and, me and Jazzy has, have made a lot of stuff. So my next book is the Usborne Holiday Activity Book. I do this book every time we go in the car because there's always just different activities. The book is so bright and colorful, and there's even sticker pages. It's kind of like the Nature Activity Book, but the Nature Activity Book is for more younger people, and this one's kind of the older kid version. Um, I... We only got to pick 10 of our favorites, so I ended up only getting to pick one sticker book. But this is Weddings and Bridesmaids. So in it, um, I really love the stickers because it's all sorts of beautiful dresses and stuff. So I really like this book. Um, inside there, I really also like this book because 
um, first ever book I've done like this, there's there's boys in it and girls. Instead of just having dresses, you get to do like tuxedos and suits and stuff. So I thought that was pretty cool. My favorite book is the chil the children's sewing kit because you can make lots of different animals. Oh, I have this upside down. But anyways, there it comes with all the stuff you need. It, you can make seven animals, and it comes with all the cutouts to make them. It comes with stuffing for all of them. It comes with a book so that you know what you're doing. I made the fox, which is weird that I turned to that page. It's I made it with my grandma one day. It's so cute. <laughs> and I just love it. I haven't got a chance to make any more because my mom always takes this book on her trade shows because it gets a lot of sales. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Um... This is my last book. I really love this book. I also like taking my markers in the car and doing this. It's drawing, doodling, and coloring fashion. So I really like this book because there's so many different things inside of it. Um, my favorite page is... Um, I'll find it. <laughs> this page because it already came with the color, like the outline, and I just got to colored them in. Um, I actually named all of them, but um, I really like them. Me and Jazzy did this one together. I really like her hair <laughs> and everything, so this one's really fun, but it also has a lot of other really fun things. Okay, so my next book is the Usborne Write and Draw Your Own Comics. I've, I've made one I made two. <laughs> we really, we both really like this book, but I just decided to show it. Uh, I've made about, I think I've made two and a half. Be and there's at the very start before you get into the part where you make the comics, it's just practice to get into knowing what to, what kind of stuff to put on your comics. This is a practice one that I made, which. A short little one, but the one that I really, I'm really excited about. I also made it into a book at school. It's called the TV Bear. It's pretty much about this boy, this bear named Andy, who loves TV so much that he never quits watching it. So his parents and his teacher and his psychiatrist all work together to stop him from liking TV, and in the end they got him to stop liking TV, but he made a friend, and when he was, he made a friend, and now his friend, they're trying to figure out how to get his friend back home. Um, I know it's my, not my turn, but, like, I just wanted to show you that, um, on this page, it actually shows you, so once you make a story, you can write it down on this just one page, so I've made three, but, um, I really like this book. And at the bottom of every page on them, it also gives you ideas of things that you can make. Or some pages it might let you make characters. Or um, or it might just make you a comic that you can read <laughs> just for fun. So I really like that book as well. So thank you. Do you have one more? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh my last book is Sticker Dolly Dressing Fashion Designer and Home Designer. I did this whole book in about 10 minutes because I really like houses and designing them. So this book is pretty much you get to do that with stickers. So you, I'll show you an example page. I also have the same book. <laughs> there's extra stickers at the end and there, you can reuse them so you can switch them out. Uh, my favorite page that I've done is this page because it's so colorful. I made it so colorful. And I can, anytime I want, I can redo this page because there's extra stickers on it. So, yeah, this book, you never have to stop with it. Now I just want to go to my sticker book like that. So. Well, thank you. Bye.